Hello everyone, welcome back to Portal, the self-built computer novel from 1986. Now the story has got fairly long and convoluted by this point, so if you want to catch up, I think the first place I would uh, point you to is the playlist for this series. Um, but if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them, drop them in the comments below. We're going to plunge straight back in uh, with our usual round of looking at all the categories until we find something to read and then reading it. So let's start with Med 10. Um, last time we did have an unexpected musical episode, so uh, once again uh, I don't really know what to expect from uh, from this experience, but we'll we'll just go with it. Uh, so we do need to read about genetic drift syndrome, that's something that um, mentor, Ditmore Seminole Gad, um, is suffering with. So let's read about that. Genetic drift syndrome is characterised by an almost subliminal slowing of neural relay time. This phase can last from six months to several years, and may not appear in the early stages even with the most sensitive diagnostic techniques, although acetylcholine transmission tomography may indicate some deviation from the norm, measured in microseconds. Later the slowing becomes more noticeable, and eventually almost all motor activity stops. Treatment includes biochemical stimulus of the reticular activating system, various nutrient-grown organ replacements, and finally, full life support and longevity treatment. It might be noted that there is absolutely no impairment of mental acuity or alertness, only the physiological interface with the external world. Some access to the outside may be maintained by direct neural hookup into the network established 2044. Okay, I'm not quite sure I understand the nature of that disease. Um, so it seems like a degradation of the body, but not the mind. Seems to be the gist of that, I think. Anything else that popped up? No? Alright, let's move on to the next category. We've got Silink. Let's get Homer, our friendly storytelling AI, to hack in there. Nothing new. All right, let's move on to SciTech. All right, um, it hasn't jumped us to an entry, so I suspect there isn't a new one. No. We've read a lot of entries in SciTech now. Okay, anything in history? The Venus might have been one of the ones that was mentioned previously. As a place to look. No, not not currently relevant. Well let's try military. Of course, we need to hack into the military. Nope, nothing there. Life support. All right, let's go for a new character. So we're going to have to scroll down here to a whole new page of people. Um, let's have a look at Omar Skate's stats. So, Omar Skate Mail, uh, born the 25th of November 2054 in San Francisco. This is their last known blood pressure. There we go. And we've got a temperature here. Delightful. Uh, respiration. There you have it. Uh, heart rate. There. Tension. Mm -hmm. DNA and hormones. There we go. Underactive thyroid, maybe. 
uh, neurotransmitters. There you go. And glycogen something. There you go. Okay, we've done our, done our duty there. Uh, so let's move on to the next category. Uh, geography. I think maybe geography was where we needed to look for new information. Yeah, Psyche McMurdo. Reconstruction. Let's find out about that. Geographic database. McMurdo C. Twin, oh, circa 2075. Parentheses. Geograph 2075. Stroke double A. Stroke lambda 6. End parentheses. Psyche McMurdo. Parentheses reconstruction. Representation of level 6. Laboratories and workstations. Presumed location of Devore's group. Okay, and we'll get a little map. There. Alright, well it didn't actually give us any information, but hopefully it will have unlocked something in Homer. Um, yep, that's it for that category. Head for Wasatch. And uh, Omar Skate again. Let's have a look at Omar's family tree. We have uh, the Steels on one side and the Skates on the other. Uh, physiology and extrasensory perception. It always gets me that there's just this fat there. Uh, basic core IQ. There we are. And we have seen those stats. Psychology, so we'll have a look at Omar again here. Okay. How are your emotions, Omar? Right, there you go. Personal growth is like that. And basic core, core IQ presents, I think, a slightly different combination of categories and appears like that. There we go. So that's that done. Okay, just one more informational portal in central processing. Anything new? Well, oh, slim pickings again, wasn't it, this round? Um, seems to be the way uh, you get sort of a, a run through all the categories where things um, snowball somewhat and you unlock several uh, blocks of story in one go. And then there'll be uh, a period where you have to go through everything and just sort of pick up the odd thread here and there, um, and just unlock one more block of story and then go through the process again. That seems to be the way quite often for the majority of, of how this game functions. Now did I click basic core cubes? I thought I had clicked it. Let's see if anything pops up. There it is. There you go, so that's the IQ categories that come under Edmod. And then logic, this is how the system represents Omar here. And then the assessment of memory is like this. And social adjustment is described thus. There you go. So that's a complete roll through the categories. Let's go to Homer and see what we've unlocked, if anything. If nothing, we might be in trouble. But there's usually always something. Mm. 
There's nothing. That's interesting. I... Hmm. Well, we'll do a run through again. It's possible that something might be hanging off our... Um, reading through the characters. Which I was hoping against, because that's quite a long and boring part of this process. Especially for um, video purposes. There's not a lot to talk about with those stats. So we'll do I'm gonna do a complete run through of the categories here in case reading like the geography one has unlocked something else somewhere else. Whoa! Yes it certainly has. We've got all these in SciTech now. Okay. Uh, HCP stroke IMP or hiccup imp. Sorry, it was it was Psylink, not SciTech. Psy. Uh, there's the picture of pixelated picture of Homer there. Okay, so Psylink database HCP, hemispheric consensus prediction stroke IMP ideology matrix prediction, referenced Loy David, parentheses late twentieth century, regarding how humans view the future. HCP suggests hemispheric division of perception producing consensus prediction. IMP suggests worldview stroke introvert extrovert stroke pessimism optimism matrix colors future outcome. Such suggestions grew increasingly quantified in the early 21st century, but are as yet considered unreliable. And that's that. So, uh, consensus prediction. Okay, unreliable human prediction okay immunoglobulins which is quite nice to say exo exonuclease the third mitochondrial dna antigen scan rna transcriptase collagen structure model primitive mri parentheses magnetic resonance imaging reveals basic structural motif of domains in immunoglobulins, immunoglob two sheets of parallel beta strands, CF alpha carbon diagrams of F sub ab print unit, hypervariable regions, amino acid positioning, ribosome, prokaryotic proteins, plasma membrane, ATP levels. Warning, this data was illegally downloaded from a prescribed database. WorldNet cannot verify data integrity. Okay, I uh, uh, didn't particularly mean anything to me. It was a long series of words. Psi correlation. I guess we do need to work out about the uh, the psi equations, don't we? Psi on equations at some point. Okay, psi correlation with music stroke math stroke spatial. Eleven point six seven three four percent have psi stroke seventy eight point three two four four percent. Fall in average range, psi stroke 10.0022%, no significant psi. Psi. Okay, um, what's the betting we'll get any more sense out of pineal stroke thymus correlation? Correlation with pineal and thymus gland protein stroke enzyme stroke neurotransmitter substances is considered probable but unproven this date parentheses 11 well 11082065 and parentheses psychic functioning is unproven the size of the unknown effects file exceeds 17 terabits suggestive of vast uncorrelated data fields cf serotonin melatonin dopamine etc also gad dt Parentheses, cyan equations. So this is casting aspersions on the premise of uh, psychic phenomena, which seems to be something that the rest of the story has hinged upon. Um, once again, feeding into sort of the unreliable narrator element of this story. Um, I think that's where we were going with that particular set of 
uh, entries in this, uh, this encyclopedia style novel. Um, anything new here? No. That's fine. Let's try history. Okay, let's have a look. Nothing there. Military. Crack in there. So far military has been, I guess, the, the most underused of these categories. Alright, so we're in life support again. We've come back round to the... Uh, Personal um, personal statistics of various characters. So we, let's go for Shizu Ogano. Uh, born in Seattle on the twelfth uh, of May, twenty thirty-two, and is male. Okay, blood pressure charts like this. And then temperature is represented this way. This is how respiratory and GSR looks like. This is heart rate and EEG. There we go. Uh, this is attention. There. And then this is DNA and hormones. Fabulous. This is a neurotransmitters. There we are. And glycogen. Fabulous. All right, we successfully looked at that entry. Okay, geography. Anything new popping up in geography? What we what we got? No. It's a simple answer, but it's emphatic. Okay, Wasatch. Let's find Shizu again. There we go. All right, so we've got a family tree to look at. So there's an Ayala branch of the family and an Organo branch of the family. So that's that. And we have physiology and ESP to consider. That's how that is represented. Um, yeah, so the... Um, Casting doubt on psychic phenomena uh, tends to undercut the uh, the measurement of ESP for, for everybody on the planet, I'd say. Uh, this is the uh, basic IQ uh, representation for this category. There we are. Go back to the main menu. Kind of would like to get through this episode having some story progression. That would be be my baseline I think. Um, okay, let's load up the psychology for Shizu Gano, talking about baselines, and let's have a look at emotion. There we go, that's that one. A personal growth is represented like this. Basic core IQ. Is, is these categories uh, represented to those amounts. There we are. And then we'll just have another check in with central processing, see if anything has popped up there. Doesn't look like it will have. No. And then we'll add mod for the last of the stats for Shizu. Wait for that to load in there. OK, 
okay, basic core IQ for these categories. Um, yep, they've been measured to those amounts. And memory is represented like this. Social adjustment is described in this way. And the assessment of logic is presented like this. There we go. So, back to Homer. Fingers crossed, everybody. Um, wires crossed if you're uh, an AI. Um, hopefully, there'll be some more story to read. Yes, there is. Here we go. Uh, in block two, uh, PD, so Pete DeVore focused section, I should imagine. Peter and the others worked long days in the lab, a long high room with two score individual workstations interconnected. Each station had an individual privacy field to prevent voice cross interference with algorithms tailored to each worker. Hollow projections monitored the PicoVat's functional circuit, evolution and growth. Peter leaned back and gazed at his own projections as they writhed and flowed, occasionally putting in an audible word or two for emphasis. Peter, note decrease in no significant population. Noted. Peter would reply. Here's the good part, some old-fashioned notions with new evidence. Noted again. Pause, Peter commanded. Explain HCP. Oh, funny you should say that, Peter. HCP suggested that differences in, ideological, in ideology shape and reveal the ways human beings see the future. Does that, does that scan that sentence? HCP suggests that differences in ideology shape and reveal the ways human beings see the future. It does. Major questions concern objective structuring of future information i.e. algorithms suggest central processing offers information in a package which, in the end, is not useful for decision-making because the metaphors are different, though the illusions of complete understanding remain. Thank you. In, in English now, please. So sorry, Peter. What people believe shapes what they think about the future. Even with psi effects, the information is always useless because no two people have the same point of view and hence fail to communicate effectively. This applies even more to central processing and the social trends projections of WorldNet. Since computers do not even possess human bodies and experience, there exists an understanding gap. All right, go on. Peter shivered and pulled his all-weather coat closer around him. The temperatures in double, the double A Warrens was kept at an uncomfortable 10 degrees Celsius. And although the lab was kept warmer than that for the comfort of Peter's team, it was still cooler than they could adjust to until restructuring. What about Wanda? he asked. You've fallen to the first three percentile for psi ability, Peter. You have more empathetic contact with Wanda Six, love. You have made empathetic contact with Wanda Six, love. Her own records indicate a latent correlation between her proprioceptive degeneration and a powerful compensatory psi. By powerful, we are speaking of picovolt levels, of course. Of course, Peter said. But how do these picovolts get from here to there? You speak of light years, do you not? Yes. At those levels, the quantum mechanic effects off occur. This happens all the time, of course. The universe as a whole is riddled with quantum jumps. Most of the time, they are too subtle or strange to be noticed. Peter frowned at the hollow image dancing above his workspace. Who told you all this? You are still a machine, believe it or not. Do you really question my knowledge? Mentor told me, of course. I do not make things up, you know. After all, I am not tied into WorldNet. I am not central processing. I am a local node, locally grown. That you will arrive in 2 minutes 21 seconds. Sometimes, local node, I find you disconcerting. Does this mean we will get these obnoxious probes removed? I can say with a 97% level of confidence that it does not mean the probes will be removed. I have a higher level of confidence than that. I am asking if this means they will be removed soon. What do you mean by soon? Within an hour. 
Yes, I say with 98.5435% confidence that they will be removed within the hour. You may wish they were not removed, however. What the hell do you mean? Peter asked, but the hollow winked out as Thatcher entered the room. All members of Peter's group looked up. Thatcher told them it was time. Time for what, Thatcher? Uh, they're re... re what's the thing? Okay, narrative one section has unlocked. Mentor had not misled them. Restructuring meant pain. It was the same for all of them. First, the isolation of the carefully modulated field, where the breath seemed to stop as the lungs heaved for air, but they all, in their various ways, knew how to deal with that. After all, they'd spent five days in the inner cell of the Agni, days in which they sometimes screamed, and Peter talked to them of his own fear, and slowly, one by one, over time, they fell into the necessary trance to survive. Patience? I think they should be patience. Patience they had learned, and huddled together they'd learned community as well. The technology of restructuring was not well understood in the intercorp world, but SciTech has a small collection of data. Alright, I think you're pointing me in that direction, aren't you, Homer? Are you going to throw any more crumbs of story my way before then? Ooh, we've got through a lot of story, haven't we? Uh, no, so nothing new. Alright, I think it's probably a good time to end the episode here. Um, not as much progress as I would have hoped for, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I do need to save. Hang on, let me save the game before I forget. Because that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be to our benefit. Alright, I will wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying experiencing uh, this um, very odd narrative as it unfolds with me and um, I hope you join me again next time when we'll once more do the rounds see what information we can get um, I feel like there probably is quite a lot to go but again I, it's very hard to predict anything with this um, with this interaction um, so we'll see what happens until next time everybody take care Bye-bye.